In today's video, we're going to try to recreate this title animation effect. That is actually my title animation number 30 in my action title animations pack. It looks complicated, but in fact, it's very, very easy to recreate. And we're going to use only one note in Fusion. So without further ado, let's start. So as a first step, of course, you need to go to Effects and from Titles, choose Text Plus, drag it to the timeline. In the inspector, let me change the default text to text animation. Let's make it bolder and bigger. Okay. And now is the time to jump to the Fusion page. In the Fusion page, you should see two nodes, Media Out and your template, which is actually our text plus. We're going to need a background node, so drag it from here. Disconnect this uh, template from media out so double click this line and let me connect it like that okay you should see a merge node and template let's make the background transparent as usual so let's go to the inspector and set alpha to zero okay so first what i'm gonna do is to change the stacks in the shading tab i will disable for the moment element number one and I will go to element number two. I will enable it. This is outline. Let me change the color to white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the line style to dot. Okay, so first let's animate the text. So it reveals from left to right, letter by letter. So you need to go back to text tab, right click the text box and choose follower. Then in the modifiers tab, change the delay to 0.5. You can leave the rest of the options as they are and go to transform node. And in here, we're gonna keyframe offset control. So at frame number zero, create a first keyframe. A path one will be created. Don't worry about it. Go back to the follower. Then maybe 15 frames later, so plus 15 create another keyframe so we got the animation will be played in this area from zero to the frame number 15 so let me go back to my first keyframe you can click this little row here as you see my uh, playhead is at frame number zero and let's say we want to start from minus two and my ending target position is zero zero so we don't need to change it so let me play it this is how it behaves, okay? Uh, but as you probably noticed, this animation is more organic. So the best way to further tune it is spline. So let me open spline here. Make sure you got your template selected. And in here you can select only the displacement. Make sure you click zoom to fit to see this animation, our starting keyframe and ending keyframe. Let me select both of them. So you can simply control A to select all the keyframes. Tap S. But I don't want an S curve. I want it to be something like this. So if we play it, it looks like this. Let me close spline to make more room here. Okay, so we got our more or less letter by letter animation. Or do we want also this kind of particles effect? This is actually very, very easy. And what I did was in the modifiers tab, go to shading and uh, element number two, which is our outline. All we need to do is to keyframe the thickness. Let me show you. So at frame 15, where our animation should stop, let's create our first keyframe. And at the beginning, so you can go at the beginning of the animation by clicking this button we're gonna create a second keyframe and we want to start from the thickness 0 1 let me see what is happening when we do that this is how it behaves and of course we can further tune it in spline so this time let's deselect uh, all the options and leave only thickness zoom to fit as before let me select both keyframes tap s to smooth it out but i want to behave like in cubic so i will create this curve so that 
This animation looks like this. So this is basically the core of this effect. What you need to do farther is, of course, you need to make sure this outline disappears once it's on its place and you want the element number one to gradually appear. So all you need to do now is to keyframe the opacity control. So let me quickly do that. So let's say from frame 13, I want my first keyframe so let me create it and set it to zero. And somewhere around here, maybe frame 16, I want it to be one. And let's see how it, why it's not working. It's not working because, because first you need to go to the tools and shading. And in here, the element number one need to be enabled. Then if you go back to modifiers, shading element number one, you will basically see the changes. So this is how right now this text is slowly revealing. And you can do the same for the outline, but you want the outline to be fading out. So this time in modifiers, shading, element number two, you need to keyframe opacity as well. So let's say from number 13, create a keyframe and at number 16, create a second keyframe and set opacity to zero. And this is what we got. And that's it guys. This is how it was done. Very simple, very powerful. Only one node was used. You can further tune it. You can change the element number one. You can switch it to gradient if you wish and so on. But this is basically how it was done. In my bundle pack, this effect is of course fully customizable. I've added some uh, glow options and drop shadows. You can change this, the color of this effect. You can change the gradient and so on. Okay, that will be it for today. Hopefully you've learned something. Let me know in the comment if you like it or no. Also check out my action title animations bundle pack. It's constantly growing and once you buy it you have lifetime updates. Thanks for watching, cheers and see you in the next one.